Welcome to Selenium Training. In this topic, we'll discuss about Selenium RC. In the previous topic, we had seen how to download and configure Selenium RC in your Eclipse project. This was the small project in which I had downloaded and configured Selenium RC. Right? Now, we'll make a small file in this named as Google test.java. In this file, I'll write some simple Selenium script which will open google.com website. But that script will be in Selenium RC, the older version of Selenium. Right? Now, to work with Selenium RC, first you need to understand the architecture of Selenium RC. For understanding the architecture of Selenium RC, go to the directory where you have downloaded the jar files of Selenium RC. These are the jar files of Selenium RC, right? Now you go inside the java doc. Java doc is nothing but the documentation of Selenium RC. If you open index.html, this will show you all the classes present in Selenium RC on the left hand side. Right? One of the interfaces out here in this documentation is Selenium interface. This is the interface Selenium. And this interface Selenium has got many functions such as attach file, this will help you attach a file with selenium then capture screenshot, this will help you capture a screenshot with selenium then double click, double click add, drag and drop so you will have lot of functions in this interface okay now when we use selenium we actually use the reference of this interface right one of the classes out here is default selenium this class out here default selenium is implementing the selenium interface that means it is implementing all the overridden methods in that interface right what overriding is and how it works you can actually learn it from module number 4 object oriented programming using inheritance and all everything right in this and in this module, I have taken perfect examples of overriding and overloading. Similarly, out here in the Selenium architecture, that is the Selenium RC architecture, default Selenium class is actually implementing the Selenium interface. That, it, that means it is actually implementing all the functions inside it. Right? Apart from this, there is one more class known as Selenies Test Case. This one. This class out here is having many functions and it's got a global field reference which is of the Selenium interface. Okay? So we can use Selenium. The crux which I want to tell you is that we can use selenium either with selenium test case class or with default selenium class. So I will describe you how to use selenium with selenium test case as well as how to use selenium RC with default selenium. Let's see with default selenium first. Okay. Now I'll open my Eclipse. This is my RC project. In this project, I have included the jar four jar files. Apart from these four jar files, you also have to include the jar file present in this selenium server that is these three jar files. Out of which this jar file selenium server.jar is very important. Okay. Selenium RC comes with a server. That server is in the selenium server.jar file. In the hard disk, it's present in the at the downloaded location of your selenium RC in the selenium server folder this one this is the jar you copy the path of this jar why do you have to copy it you have to copy it because you have to start the server you have to start the server by going to command prompt and giving the command to start the server so you go to the pl place where the selenium server dot jar is lying okay on your command prompt and give the command java hyphen jar selenium server dot jar so this will start your selenium server 
Selenium server runs on port number 4444. This is the port number out here. Okay. Now once the Selenium server is started and once you have all the Selenium jar files in your Eclipse project, you can start writing your Selenium script using the class default Selenium. Fine. So, you can use this class default selenium and create the object of this class by simply writing this line you import this because these are present in the packages right selenium 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 is the interface which is being implemented by default selenium and in the constructor of default selenium I am passing localhost that is I am running the test in the local machine fine 444 is the port number on which selenium is running start firefox is the browser on which selenium will run and the site which I want to navigate to is google.com ok this command is also present in my blog over here right now after this you need suppose I just run this much I just run this program by writing this single line what will happen is that a, a browser practically nothing happens okay this is because I have to write selenium dot start after this so now after writing selenium dot start if I run this code a browser should open see that two browsers open up one is the normal browser having this URL and other is the log window this is known as the selenium log window this has got the history of all the commands which you fire with selenium this browser is blank it never navigated to the test website that is google.com ok now also one more thing this whole code will not work on mozilla 6 or the latest version of mozilla it will work only till mozilla 3 dot something or maybe on mozilla 4 as well I am using 3.5.16 because rc is the older version of selenium ok for running the code on the new version of selenium you need to use web driver right sorry for running the code on the new version of firefox you need to learn web driver ok now after starting this I will write selenium dot open this will take me to google.com so this is basically a simple script in which I am using default selenium and I am navigating to google.com when I run this test I get a very simple thing that in this browser see google.com gets opened right so I have successfully written a selenium script which opens the google.com website using selenium rc right now I can make an one more class over here google test 2 and in this I will use the selenies test case class which was there in the uh, selenium java docs that is over here over here in selenium java client driver I have the index.html which is having selenies test case class using this test class also we can use selenium to navigate to google.com all you need to do is that your test class should be extending should write extends selenies test case right if I am extending selenies test case then I have to call a method called set up in this class over here set up URL with the browser string fine but I can only call it with the help of JUnit or test ng annotation. 
in public static void main it cannot be called because main is a static function and setup is a non static function if you refer to the module 2 of the training then static cannot call non static so i have to make a method called public void test google and give it the annotation method test and include the j unit library into this project okay so just import this right and after importing this you can call the setup function from the parent class selenis test case that is you first provide the name of the website and the browser string that is i want to open it on firefox then star firefox right in some systems this will not work you will have to give the path of the firefox after this that is c colon somewhere somewhere in the end firefox.exe you'll have to give the path but in my system it should work like this right and after that you again give the command selenium dot open you don't have to give the command selenium dot start out here the way we did when we were using default selenium right so if i write selenium dot open slash now and i run the code that is google test 2 i right click on it and run it as a j unit test then a new browser will and it will navigate me to google.com okay so run it and you see that the browsers are opening this is the browser opening which is navigated to google.com so i have successfully implemented selenium rc in two ways that is by calling the setup method of selenium test case by calling the default selenium class object right by creating the default selenium class object which one is the preferred one the first one is the preferred one because in java one class can extend only the one class so if you are extending selenium test case you won't be able to extend some other some other class right so these are the two ways in which you can use selenium rc okay the architecture of selenium rc can be easily understood with the help of the documentation out here the default selenium class has got all the possible functions which can be used with selenium okay you can try out these functions and in the selenium training we will be covering each and every of these functions in detail if you go over to the selenium rc tab on the top in the training or in the video tutorials of selenium rc okay you will be covering all these topics like how to handle pop ups tabs how to build a data driven framework introduction to selenium rc then features of selenium rc how to use web tables right so there are n number of topics user extensions regular expressions as well everything will be covered fine so thank you